animal rights activists have launched a campaign against the snake charmers of Morocco in the country's legendary Jama El Fana Square in Marrakesh. And they're urging tourists to boycott the snake charmers' performances. According to one French ecologist, the majority of the species are in danger of dying out, threatening the ecosystem in North Africa. The species I am talking about, the cobras, puff viper, and some rat snakes, do not exist anymore except in some isolated areas. And in those isolated areas, people are capturing the snakes to sell to the so-called snake charmers. Snake charming, an ancestral practice from ancient Egypt, is the act of supposedly hypnotizing snakes by playing a flute. But Michel Americh claims the snakes are deaf, and so their reaction is a defensive movement to the gestures of the charmers. When the cobras tend to adopt a defensive position, they are certainly not reacting to the music, as all snakes are deaf. The cobras are the only ones to stand in their usual defensive position. Most of the charmers are members of the ancient Isawea Brotherhood, who, according to local mythology, are immune to snake venom. But Aymerich says the snake charmers are protected by removing the snake's fangs or the venom glands, which in turn can cause infection and lead to a premature death. Some tourists are also unhappy about the way the snakes are handled. We were discussing that because we said probably they have to do things to the animals, but I wasn't aware that it was that bad. Um, that's terrible. For the snake charmers, this is often their only source of income. Without it, they claim they would not be able to feed their families.